Okay, Julian, let's look at a problem where we're going to label the tick marks on a number line. In order to do this problem, we need to think about the distance between numbers on the number line. And we also have to be careful to count the spaces in between the tick marks, not just the little lines. Label the tick marks with the appropriate fractions. The tick marks are these little lines written along our number line. Two of the tick marks are already labeled, the one and the three. In order to get started here, we need to calculate the distance between the two labeled tick marks. We need to calculate the distance from the one to the three. That distance we can get by subtracting. We're going to subtract 3 minus 1, the larger number minus the smaller. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 represents the distance from 1 to 3. Now we also need to count the number of spaces between the two numbers that we've used. Not the tick marks, but the spaces in between. There's one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. Six spaces in between the one and the three. Next, we want to figure out how large each space is. We want to know the size of each space. To do that, we're going to take the distance that we just figured out and divide by the number of spaces. The distance from 1 to 3 was 2. And we're going to divide by the number of spaces between 1 and 3. That's 6, our 6 spaces. 2 divided by 6 we can write as a fraction. 2 over 6. And let's reduce 2 over 6 here. 2 over 6 can be written as 2 over, I'm going to break down that 6 as 2 times 3. I can cancel a factor of 2 above and below. Because there are no factors left above, there's a 1 left behind. Down below, I have a 3. So I have 1 over 3, that's 1 third. 1 third is the size of each space. That's the important number here because that's the number we need to add on as we move from one tick mark to the next. We start at 1 and then we add on the size of a space as we move to the next tick mark. If I take one plus a third, I get one and one third. If I add on a third more, I get one and two thirds for the next tick mark. If I add on a third more, I'll get one and three thirds. Now let's think about one and three thirds. One and three thirds can be written in a simpler way. That's equal to one plus three thirds, which is equal to one plus three thirds is the same as one whole. So we have just one plus one. One plus one is two. The 2 here is equal to 1 and 3 thirds. So I'm going to label this next tick mark with 2. That's the simplest way to label that tick mark. Now let's continue adding a third. 2 plus a third is 2 and 1 third plus another third is 2 and 2 thirds plus another third is two and three thirds. But two and three thirds is the same as two plus one, or three. 
So we land right on the three that's already labeled there. Now let's continue beyond the three. Three plus a third is three and one third, plus another third is three and two thirds. And there we have all the tick marks labeled on this number line.